poor white man not. Coming with them chairs like a circle With flames of fire on those who don't follow instruction uh, Repent or die I want you to listen to something real quick, sis And you're right, you, what you're doing is you're asking questions You want to know, hey, these guys said this I want to know what's up, right? Revelation 24, 22 and 14 Bring it out The book of Revelation chapter 22, verse 14 Read But are they that do his commandments Come on. That they may have right to the tree of life the Bible says, blessed are they that do God's commandments that they may have right to the tree of life, read. And may enter into the gates into the city. Read. For without are dogs, read. and sorcerers, read. and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, read. and whosoever loveth, and make it a lie. Those men are liars. They told you that we broke off from them and we were a part of their church. That's a lie. Israel United in Christ has never been a part of those brothers that you're talking about. And the reason why they're lying to you, sister, because they have to lie to get more members. They look at us and see the great works that we're doing, and they can't come close to it. We actually do what the Bible says to do. That whole congregation has been destroyed. That's why they don't have a place to worship. They have no building to go to because they can't. They don't know how to come together. They don't know how to apply the scriptures to today and do what God said to do. That's why you see them wander in the streets with no direction. They don't know how to heal our people. We're trying to show our people what they need in order to get to the kingdom of heaven. Is that what you about, sis? You trying to get to the kingdom of heaven? Yeah, you're late. You don't know? Okay, so, you, but so are you trying to get to the kingdom of heaven? Huh? Of what facts? So watch this. This is what you do. This is how you examine. Give me that real quick. What is that? Is that what I'm looking for? Right. Watch this. This is how you know who's telling you the truth and who got the facts. Look at the men who do what God said to do, who's keeping the commandments. Watch this. Matthew chapter 7, verse 16. Come on. Ye shall know them by their fruit. Read. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? So watch this. You shall know them by their fruits. When they see, when they see you, sister. Your actions, your works, if you apply the commandments, the laws, statutes of the Most High God. When they see you, sister, they tell you a woman's not supposed to be wearing pants. They show you that in the Bible. But did they tell you? See, the first thing, that's why the brother brought that up. The first thing I'm going to do whenever I see my people, I'm going to tell them what they need in order to get to the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Something I may notice that's wrong. If I see that one of my sisters out here that don't, and they got on pants, I'm going to tell them, listen, sis, you got to take the pants off and put on a dress. Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Now, you, now you're asking the right questions. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. I'm going to eliminate me, and I'm gonna read, we're going to read from the Bible. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Come on. The woman 
shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. What pertains to men? What is it that women wear that pertains to men? They might wear jeans, but men just wear. You talking about like my robe, right? You talking about like my robe, right? Yeah, you're right. We do wear those, and we can wear those today. But that ain't talking about no dress. You're not gonna see me with no literal skirt on or dress because that's what a woman's supposed to wear. A man is supposed to wear pants. That's why we have our pants here. Bring it out, huh? Like murder? So like murder? He forgives you for that, right? What do you mean the pants? Because the same place we read, watch this, read this, read that again. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. A woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. For all that do that, everybody out here cross-dressing is an abomination before the Lord. You know what's going to happen to all abominations? Did you read that in Revelation 21? Give me that real quick. Get out! It's that much important. I know it's getting hot over here, right, eh, sister? Because you know what? When you're made accountable for your sins, you got to choose whether or not to love God or not. Right now, sister, you're making a choice. You are making a conscious decision on whether or not you're going to do what God says to do or he's not going to do. Yeah, you're right. It was a bad for you to run into us today because now you've been made accountable for what you're doing. Now you know. Read that. Revelation 21. You know what I want? Read. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. Come on. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable. What? And the abominable. Any, anybody who makes abominations, who commits abominations through the earth, read. And murderers. Read. And whoremongers. Come on. And sorcerers. See how they're in the same boat as murderers, sorcerers. Whoremongers, they're all in the same boat. Those that commit abominations, Bring it eating out. abominable foods, wear a cross-dressing, which is an abomination. Read. Bring it out. And idolaters, Come on. and all liars, Read. shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone. Listen, she's literally covering her ears up. You right. You absolutely right. Our people don't want to hear the law. Bring that thing is convicting Bring right there. Hey. But guess what, sister? You've been made accountable today. Hey, if you don't hey. repent, you will die in your sin. Yes, hey. Give me that second Timothy. That's our people, boy. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. For the time will come. When the time is going to come. Come on. When they will not endure sound doctrine. Bring. But after their own lust. What? But after their own lust. After their own lust. Read. Shall they heed to themselves. Teachers, they are not able to endure sound doctrine. That's why the sister covered their ears up, just like they did during the time of Stephanie and Acts 7. They no. stopped their ears. Because right. Right. they don't want to hear what God is saying. That's our people's problem. Y'all just see that right there. She's going she to have to give account of that that day. Because guess what? It's too late now. All of you are in the same situation she's in, brothers and sisters. You're hearing this word, and you're being made accountable for what you're doing. The Bible says you have to keep God's commandments and faith in his son. You cannot eliminate the laws of God and say you believe in Jesus. It is impossible. Give me that real quick in 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby... We do know that we know him. This is how you know you know Jesus. Read. If. What? If. Huh? If. Read. We keep his commandments. Yes, what? Right. If we keep his commandments. The stipulation is if you keep his commandments. Yes, right. If you do what God says to do. If you're coming over here, you're looking at, at us as though this is some racist movement, keep moving down the block. Because that's out. not what we out here about. Right. We out here trying to get our people to wake up and do right. right. Why is it that whenever we go out to try to talk to our people and to wake up our people who's killing each other in the streets, who's murdering one another, selling drugs to each other, right. committing fornication against one another, all of a sudden now it becomes a racial issue. Right. We are racist. Bring it out! It says we all racist, you dang skinny. Now, what's the definition of racist? We are for the preservation of our What's the definition of racist, brother? We are for the preservation of our own people. Of our own people. We love our people. If that's what racist is, boy, listen, call me a, call me Hitler up out here. If that's what racist is, if that's what Hitler was, guess what? I'm way more than that. Now, we running around chopping folks' heads off, uh, doing experiments and all that nonsense. Now, we'll be that up to the so-called white man. We're going to spend our time loving our people. We ain't got time to hate nobody because we love the hell out of our people. That's right. Read that again. 
1 John chapter 2 verse 3. Come on. And hereby we do know that we know him. Read. If we keep his commandments. Come on. He that saith I know him uh -huh. and keepeth not his commandments Read. is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. If you say you know Jesus the Christ and you don't keep his commandments, the Bible says you are a what? Is a liar. Read. And the truth is not in him. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels.